the state of the fitness industry. So guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about my thoughts and opinions of the fitness industry as of right now. So let's get into this shit. Honestly, I think, I mean, fitness and influencing and stuff, it's gotten so big in the past like few years just because of like TikTok and short videos or whatever and gym footage and all that stuff like that that I mean it never used to be this popular but only like recently in the past few years I feel like it's popular and if you go to the gym you're cool now like back in the day I say back in the day like I'm old and shit but back in the day you know going to the gym you're like weird for it and stuff but now it's more popular and stuff like that but let me know what you guys think but really what I'm gonna say is I mean everything you see on the internet and all that shit you see about these fitness influencers and what they're doing and all that bullshit it's just like at the end of the day like that shit's just all on video all that shit is just on video and on camera and it's all like a whole facade. Like it's not their genuine person and who they are and stuff. So I honestly just think a lot of times it's a whole bunch of bullshit, man. You just like, if you see stuff on the internet, don't always believe that. Like have a brain and think about it because everything you see on the internet, that shit's not 100% true. And especially nowadays with all, you see like these gym pranks and all this stuff. and oh about this and videos or whatever it's like half of this shit is like fucking filmed or staged it's like you can like tell because it's like it's not real and not genuine and it's like I feel like you can tell the scene too like if you watch content from somebody whatever like that depending on whoever you watch and it's like are these people really telling the truth is this what it like at least in my opinion, I'm like, I want to give you guys the genuine, raw truth and raw of what's happening. I mean, what's the point of, like, not being who you are and, like, trying to play a character? Like, I mean, I guess that's how it is in, like, a movie or something like that. People are playing a character or whatever. But it's like, if you're a fucking, like, making YouTube videos or being a fitness influencer and it's like... You're just faking all this shit and it's like, really just opened my eyes. Cause it's like too, you see these people on the internet and their crazy physiques and stuff. It's like, they don't look like that 24 seven. And most of the time, all those people are on freaking gear and on roids. And it's like, if you don't think that and like, you try to compare yourself to other people, that's number one. Don't compare yourself to anyone else because that shit's just a joke. You, you just gotta get better than you were yesterday, better than yourself. But the whole like stigmatism to the fitness influencer it's like it's just a whole all of like bullshit and it's like what's even real anymore on and it's like that's why it's like if i like find someone that i really think that you know that's they make these videos and they're real and genuine it's like i fucking fuck with them because it's like they're not in it for the, you know, the money grabbing views and clicks of this, that, and the other thing. So, who knows? Let me know what you guys think, though. I think, like, two, three years ago, like, it was it was so, so much more raw, and now just everything is just, like, so fake, I feel like. It, people are claiming they're natty, and they're not. It's like, why are you lying to people? Like, especially young kids or whatever that are impressionable, and it's like, they think that physique is, like, able to obtain over like lifting for so hard and so it's like come on man like open up your eye you can't see that like oh my god this guy he's 16 benching 400 pound it's like come on you think he's doing that naturally like you know what i mean then they always say like oh yeah i mean yeah there can be those one in a million like freak of nature's like crazy genetics and stuff like that but that's rare rare and it's like not every other person on the internet that's doing that type of shit so it's like you just gotta be weary of what you're watching what you're seeing it's like you gotta take some things with a grain of salt and stuff like that so there's obviously I mean I'm saying this but I mean there are some good people out there or whatever I'm not gonna name names or anything like that but I'm just trying to make other people see that you know everything isn't all 
rainbow and unicorns as they see it on the internet and shit like that. And it's like, if that's how you want to portray it, it's like, welcome to the real fucking world. Like, nobody gives a fuck about you. Like, do your own thing and, you know, just be happy with what you're doing and let it rock, you know? Everyone thinks everything they see is just so true and it's, oh, that keyboard warrior has something to say about, oh, you're doing this gym the technique wrong, this, that, the other thing. It's like, bro, you're behind a computer. I don't see your ass in the gym. So it's like, shut the fuck up and mind your own business. Uh, but everybody always has something to say about everything. And as you get older and stuff, you'll realize, like, that's just fucking life, man. Like, get over it. Gonna put that work in like we always do. Lifting with a purpose and getting it done, not being a little fucking bitch. Uh, guys, let me know what you think of what I talked about and everything like that, but I've been thinking about it. I think I'm really, you know, this is a underground fitness YouTube content. That's what I think I might start calling it that, you know. That's the underground YouTube that you guys are watching right now. Little pizzazz, you know. Real truths of the fitness industry, guys. Watch out for it and don't fall victim to it. Boys, enough fucking jibber jabber. Let's get into the montage of fucking hitting some shoulders, man. complete guys did you see me oh my gosh like me posing in the mirror I was looking at the footage that is not even me I had the freaking the good down lighting with the camera guys don't believe everything you see on the internet because I know I sure as hell don't look that good in real life like let me tell you so I mean more of the story is you always see your your younger self or when you're small or or fat or whatever you started with but guys everything you see on the internet and the fitness influencers this that the other thing like or the story is they're really they're not necessarily that big and that shredded in that i mean they say they're natty and this but they're probably on roids and they're probably like 180 lean so don't believe everything you see and hear and they're telling you to do this workout, do that. You know, get in there and put in the work. The exercise you do, don't do, isn't gonna matter so much. You just get in there and you put in that intensity and eat a shit ton of food, you're gonna grow. But yeah, guys, fitness influencers, just don't believe everything you see. Guys, I was getting looks in there because I have my tripod and camera because the gym, it's not like super big and it wasn't too crowded, but it was just kind of funny. So put that work in, boys. And what do you think of fitness influencers, guys? Have they gone uphill or downhill? Let me know in the comments and uh, share this with, that, with a friend of yours or a buddy that goes to the gym and skips leg day.